Hey guys, I'm Ashley Jenkins and Valve has drawn back the curtain on their final announcement to reveal not Half-Life 3, unfortunately. Sorry. Instead, as they hinted earlier in the week, they've unveiled their take on a gamepad with an ambition no other controller has achieved to be 100% suitable for PC games in all their forms, including those that have proved impervious to controller configurations in the past, like real and turn-based strategy games, cursor-driven games, and so on. The controller will be compatible with all Steam games, past, present, and future, whether they were designed for controllers or not. And Valve says the controller has far higher fidelity than anything controllers have offered before enough to satisfy the pinpoint accuracy PC gamers demand. Instead of two thumbsticks, there are two trackpads positioned on either side, which are clickable so they can also function as buttons, and each has its own haptics for a range of customizable rumble options, and get this, they even function as speakers in some cases. The touch screen in the center of the controller is also clickable, and it's programmable for developers so it can function as a scrolling menu, radial dial, map, or whatever else they decide will complement the gameplay experience. There there are 16 total buttons placed symmetrically on each side, and half of those are accessible without budging your thumbs from the trackpads. And because it's Valve, the controller is also completely open and hackable. It's an ambitious bit of engineering, for sure, but they've made it a reality. They'll be shipping a prototype to 300 beta testers later this year, along with their Steam Machine hardware, with a few limitations. These prototypes won't have the touchscreen, and they won't be wireless. But if you're one of the lucky testers, you probably won't be complaining. As expected, Naughty Dog has finally revealed their Season Pass DLC lineup for The Last of Us. The first DLC pack out next month will be the Abandoned Territories map pack for multiplayer and will focus on unique urban environments, each with its own twist to offer multiplayer gameplay. Suburbs will feature a random dynamic dust storm. Bus Depot will be an overgrown urban environment with wild giraffes because obviously. Hometown will be an eerie moonlit nighttime environment and Bookstore will offer a stacked map for vertical gameplay. Their second DLC will be a story-based add-on that ties in with the single-player game's narrative. They've just finished casting a new character and will start capturing their performance next week. But whether this means we'll play a new character is still Naughty Dog's secret. Look for this pack to drop around December or January. The third DLC map pack will be multiplayer focused again and won't arrive until the first half of 2014, and that's all we know. To make the wait a little bit easier, they're releasing 60 new items of headgear free to season pass holders, and they'll also be available for purchase a la carte for those without the pass. And that's it, time for the weekend. Let us know how you feel about the Steam Controller and Last of Us DLC in the comments below. And check out roosterteeth.com for more of our videos over the next few days.